Hello everyone, in this video I show you how to 3D model and print this book. So I'm using H3D5 profile. And there you can see how that sits on the belt. Okay, and now I start 3D model. Okay, so first we start creating a sketch. So we select this bottom sketch. And then we draw a circle in the middle of the sketch. And we can add dimension later. So we use this data sheet for the dimensions. And in this example we make 72 pull them so we use this value and now we add this value here and then we look again from the specs what we have to use so here we need 2.08 so we create smaller circle using offset tool And here we use 2.08. So now we have two circles. And now I pressed L for line tool. There, line tool. And we select construction line. Okay. And now we have this line here. And we use circle tool. And now we can make this not construction. I have always used hotkeys, so it's hard to find some tools sometimes so there was dimension tool and here we now we have to search for this value because it wasn't here I will add all these values in the description later. Okay, so there it is. 3.05. We use this for the circle. Okay. So now we have to use constraints for this circle to position. So we use tangent tool there. So now it's attachment to tangent. And then we use coincident for this middle middle line. Okay, so now it's there and we can't move that circle anymore. And then we draw another line. It doesn't matter how, what distance we use for that line. But here we have to use angle with this 90 degrees minus this calculation. Because we use 72 dots in this pulley. So now it's 85 degrees. And now we do again the same thing, we draw a circle and then we can create it, not construction. And again we do the same things, tangent line and that middle point. 
and then we use equal tool for this because they are same size and then again this tangent and then midpoint there so now it's there and it can't move anymore okay so now we have this two and you can now s maybe see how the tooth is becoming there so now we have two circles and for this we see it here is that 0 0.43 there is radius 0 0.43 so we use this for the circles and because it was radius we use diameter multiplied by 2 so it's 0 0.86 and we use equal tool for this and now we use tangent okay so now that smaller circle is there and this another one is here too locked in the position And then we can trim something if we want, but sometimes it's not good idea. So now we see they turned blue and that's not good because then they can move. So we don't have to use this trim tool. It's pretty much ready now. And now we select this profiles. I pressed E for extrude tool. And 20 millimeters. Okay, so now we have one tooth there. And then we can turn this catch on. And select from pattern, circular pattern, and pattern time bodies. And select this body one. For axis, we select green middle axis. Sometimes it's a bit hard to select right one. Like that's not right one. Okay, so now we click it correct. And here is 72 as we decide. And okay. So now we have all tools in correct position and now we can see there is many many bodies because they are not compiled yet for that we go back here sketch one two and draw one circle more this is just for combining all those tools and for the 3d printing we need this and then 20 millimeters here and okay and now we had that join so only one body left and that's pretty much for the 3d modeling now we have all tools there and now there is something you have to make sure when you 3d print it so we have now preview maps activated And there is 53,000 triangles and we use that high refinement so we can see how these <coughs> tools are made now that many triangles there and if we use only low refinement there is only 10,000 and we can see tools are not smooth anymore and there is a lot hard triangles everywhere 
so for this kind you, you should always use high refinement for the best quality okay so now we see it's a lot smoother now and now we export this STL file into slicer software and I will show that same effect in slicer too and I export another with only low refinement so this lag a little bit okay so now another one with low refinement and export this this is only for this example and after slicing we can zoom in so we see better so from here it looks pretty much same but if we zoom closer we can see better that Those are not really smooth anymore. There is straight lines everywhere. And we can see from there is total lines 320,000. And it, in this there was 500. So there is a lot more. And you can see they are so much smoother.